I'm Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. A big win Monday night for the Avs, 4-3 over the Nashville Predators. The Avs avoided a colossal meltdown as they were up 3-zip in the first period and 4-1 in the third. It was a fight until the very end, but Colorado avoided disaster, picking up a much-needed two points to keep their slim but still mathematically possible playoff hopes alive. Colorado closed the gap to three points behind Minnesota for the final Western Conference playoff spot. The Avs have six games left with the Central Division leading St. Louis Blues up tonight. Puck drops at 6.30 at Scott Trade Center. The Nuggets sell to the Dallas Mavericks last night in front of the home crowd 97-88. Turnovers cost them this game. Denver had 21 turnovers, which Dallas converted to 29 points. The Mavericks, they only had three turnovers. Kenneth Reed, who missed the last six games with a back injury, returned to the court. He finished with nine points and 11 rebounds, nearly a double-double. Will Barton led the way for Denver with 23 points off the bench. Barton has led his team in scoring 18 times this season. Next up, the Nuggets head to Memphis to face the Grizzlies on Wednesday. CU women's basketball has a new head coach. J.R. Payne from Santa Clara was hired on Monday to replace Linda Lappy, who stepped down earlier this month. Payne is coming off of a season in which she led Santa Clara to a 23-9 record and made the WNIT. She signed a five-year deal with Colorado. Broncos defensive back and kick returner Omar Bolden will meet with John Fox and the Chicago Bears on Wednesday. Bolden has watched several Broncos join the Bears, including linebacker Danny Trevathan and long snapper Aaron Brewer most recently. Despite dealing with a plantar fasciitis foot issue and an ankle injury, Bolden led the Broncos in kickoff and punt return yardage last season. John Owen and company had a couple of former SEC standouts in for pre-draft visits on Monday. LSU cornerback Rashard Robinson and Vandy linebacker Stephen Weatherly. The Broncos are also expected to visit with Ole Miss defensive lineman Robert Nikamdiche in the near future. With opening day less than one week away, the Rockies' 25-man roster is close to completion. A couple of moves on Monday, utility guy Rafael Enoa and relief pitcher Brian Schlitter were both options to the minors. Colorado now has 38 players remaining in Major League camp, which includes six non-roster players. The Rocks square off against their division rival, the Arizona Diamondbacks, today first pitch at 110. You're up to date, sports fans. I'm Robin Carlin with some of our top stories from DPTV.